Hi guys, I'm Ilona and today I want to talk to you a little bit more about cruising. As you know by now, uh, our next cruise is just in a, a few weeks. It's just around the corner, so we're very excited. But first we fly to Miami and then we stay there for uh, two days and then we're going on the Icon of the Seas. So really looking forward to that. And the other thing is that we also have uh, booked another cruise for next year. And it's going to be on the Norwegian Aqua. That's going to be the newest ship of um, NCL. So yeah, we're really looking forward to that one as well. Uh, that would be the second time that we uh, uh, took a cruise on the NCL. And the first was was uh, the first one was on the Norwegian Jewel, I believe. That's a, a few years ago. But now, yeah, um, we saw that there was a new ship uh, coming with new, uh, yeah, exciting things to see. And yeah, we we thought, well, let's try that one as well for next year. So it's, it's going to be in uh, in August, I believe. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to that one. That's going to be the first um, the first cruise ship with a, a hybrid roller coaster. So yeah, I'm I'm not uh, really a roller coaster fan, but maybe I'm going to try that one. <laughs> so we'll see about that. That's uh, a thing for next year, right? And uh, so I was wondering, yeah, I can say that uh, I'm really uh, quite loyal to Royal because um, most of our cruises have been with uh, Royal Caribbean. My first cruise was on the Freedom of the Seas and after that I was hooked on Royal Caribbean. I really love uh, yeah, the layouts of the ships and um, yeah, the surface and uh, you know, it's, it's always uh, pleasant uh, to, to have some kind of uh, feeling at home when you're boarding a ship and you know a little bit uh, your way around the ship. So for me, yeah, I, uh, I always like uh, cruising on Royal Caribbean. But as I mentioned, next year we're also going to cruise on the Norwegian Aqua. And I was wondering if you're also royal to your first cruise or uh, cruise line. Or uh, are you a sort of a cruise hopper? Are you going from uh, one cruise line to the other cruise line to just uh, check them out? Uh, so let me know in the comments down below what you uh, what you prefer. Or are you sticking to uh, to one cruise line in particular, and and why is that? So I uh, yeah I'm really uh, looking forward to, to your answers and uh, hear uh, what you uh, what you think about uh, about that. For our cruise in the next year, we're going to book a snooze and cruise. A few years ago, we were on the Meyerwerf in uh, Papenburg, Germany, uh, to visit uh, the wharf uh, where they build the, the big ships, uh, the cruise ships. And uh, they told us then that, yeah, there is a limit, of course, uh, on what they can build and how big uh, the ships uh, can be because otherwise they can't bring it uh, to the, from, the, from the wharf to, to the ocean. And yeah, because now, uh, now we have the icon of the seas and it's the biggest ship of the world. I was wondering, yeah, can they even big bigger ships? Or is this the limit, you know? Uh, and what, uh, what do cruise lines uh, think of building um, a little smaller ships now from now on or yeah, I've heard that Carnival is um, uh, making some bigger ships but uh, I think Royal Caribbean is now uh, after the Icon of the Seas uh, building uh, some smaller ships uh, now so yeah I'm, I'm curious uh, what the future holds for for that in the, in the cruise uh, industry but even though we have uh, some problems here in Europe and uh, Alaska with uh, cruise ships and cruise passengers uh, we're not uh, really uh, allowed to be there or uh, people aren't so happy uh, with all the, the, the cruise passengers and cruise ships. In Asia, that's an, uh, another story. They really uh, are looking forward to cruise ships and the cruise passengers and bringing in some money. 
So India, uh, Vietnam, Thailand, the Philippines, they are all um, investing in, um, in bringing uh, cruise ships over there. So maybe in a few years we're all going to Asia on a cruise, you never know. I've been to, to Asia uh, on a cruise before. It's uh, different than, than a Caribbean cruise, of course. And I really like uh, Asia very much. I've been to Thailand many, many times and uh, to other parts of uh, Asia. Uh, and we did a cruise uh, from uh, Singapore to Hong Kong. And we visited Thailand, uh, Vietnam, Cambodia, uh, yeah, Hong Kong, of course. And uh, yeah, we, we had a great time and it is really uh, so much different than, uh, yeah, than, other, uh, than, than the Caribbean or a European cruise. So this week uh, we booked our shows on the Icon of the Seas. So we're going to see the Wizard of Oz and we're going to uh, the Aqua Show and we're going to the Ice Show. Uh, yeah, so I'm really glad that we uh, had met, uh, made reservations for that uh, already. And we also booked some specialty dining. So we're going to uh, Giovanni's, that's an Italian restaurant. And of course, we're going to Izumi, that's a Japanese restaurant, because yeah, we really like uh, sushi and we re really like the, the mochi ice, ice cream. Um, and we're going to the Chops Grill, so sort of a, steak, uh, a steakhouse. Uh, made reservations for that. We also had a drink package uh, and our internet. And yeah, everything that we uh, think we need uh, to make our cruise uh, great. And uh, yeah, well, we'll see uh, how the icon of the seas is. And I'm, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So uh, yeah, we've we seen some, some videos already, but it's uh, different than, than seeing it for yourself, right? And I hope we, uh, we have some good weather and I uh, hope the storms uh, are gone uh, by the time we're on the ship. So I've heard that uh, some cruise ships, uh, even Icon of the Seas, had to uh, to uh, modify their uh, itinerary because of uh, of the storm. So I hope uh, we don't have to, to deal with any storms uh, <laughs> this time. I always think that it's it's better than uh, safe than uh, to be safe than sorry. So. I don't really mind uh, if that happens, you know, it's nothing that you can do about it and you have to make the most of, uh, of your cruise and don't feel sorry. I mean, uh, we're in a very uh, luxury position, so uh, I don't think you, uh, you can complain when the, when the ship is not uh, going exactly uh, as planned. So yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, just a few tips uh, before I go. I always use these plastic luggage tags for my bags to um, when, when I go on a cruise. They're easy to use and you can buy them at Amazon and uh, yeah, you can use them uh, all over again. So that's uh, quite easy. And the other tip, um, when I'm uh, packing my hand luggage, I always pack a smaller bag that I put in my hand luggage. And as soon as I'm on the plane, I take this one out, I put this one under the seat in front of me, and the rest goes in the bin above me. So everything that I need uh, while on the plane, I put in this uh, bag and other things like sunglasses or... Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, other small items uh, or uh, some extra clothes in my hand luggage. Uh, you don't need them on the plane, so I put them in the bin. And this, um, this bag contains um, my electronics, uh, some medication, and some cream, facial cream, uh, some wipes, some facial wipes. And... Uh, yeah, iPads for when I want to try to sleep, some earplugs, uh, some deodorant, some perfume, and just uh, yeah, a hand brush. I always have these uh, with me uh, and I can take this one out as, uh, as needed. So that's much easier than uh, putting your whole uh, backpack or uh, small case uh, under the, the seat in front of you. So that will be uh, my advice today. Well, thanks again for watching 
And I hope you really like uh, this video. I hope you uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. So you keep on track uh, on all my adventures. And remember, keep smiling, keep shining and doing what you love to do most is making you happy. And I hope to see you on my next video. Bye.